The second type of problem that the aortic valve can develop is aortic regurgitation. The patient with aortic regurgitation is more difficult for us to evaluate because the patient really can become or can be symptomatic for a long period of time and what our concern about that patient is that the left ventricle that is developing an overload from all the blood rushing back into the ventricle becomes dilated and any time the patient develops any decrease in their function of their heart with left ventricular dilatation we're pretty quick to recommend that the patient have an aortic valve replacement. Our concern about that patient population is that that left ventricular decline in function could become permanent and that could be a very serious problem for that patient long term. Every decision to operate is balanced and counterbalanced, really, with the longevity of the valve that we are choosing to put in. What we don't want to do is have patients have one, two, or three additional operations in their lifetime. Now, in many cases, we can't do that. In some cases, we go into it knowing that the patient likely will have to have another valve replacement in the future. But we try to design our therapy and target our therapy and intervene at certain points in patient's care to try to prevent that or certainly minimize it.